Long live the king. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again. So real quick, I do have a little bit of a cold coming through right now, so I might not be able to sound all loud and exciting. But in today's video, I'm gonna finally be reacting to the evolution of Mechagodzilla by Filmcore. I know a lot of you guys have been dying for this reaction video, so today is finally the day. So let's go ahead and check out this video. All right, y'all, here we go. Here we go, Filmcore. Show me what you got. <coughs> ah. Yay. And this was this is always my favorite Mecha Godzilla right here. Oh shit, this is wild shit. Yep. This is my favorite Mecha Godzilla of all time still. Thanks to my grandma for introducing me to this movie as well. Oh shit. Damn, look how big. Compared to that guy, or compared to that Mecha Godzilla, holy shit. Tiny ass motherfucker. I didn't like this Mecha Godzilla. I, I don't know, I'll explain later, but I never really liked this Mecha Godzilla. I think just mainly because he actually killed Rodan. I was like, you killed my boy Rodan? How could you? Oh, yeah. Okay, yep, Kiryu, okay, yep. I also like Kiryu. I liked him a lot, especially in uh, Godzilla Unleashed. Yeah, he went ham in that game. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that the last Mecha Godzilla of the last decade was like Ready Player One's Mecha Godzilla. So, yep, there it is. Oh my God, this shit caught me off guard when I saw this in theaters. I was like, Oh my God, Godzilla's in this movie. Just the mechanized version, but yeah, this was badass. Oh my God. Oh yep. I totally forgot about this anime series. Oh my god, I feel horrible. The Mecha Godzilla that we barely even saw in the damn movie. Huh. I didn't even know he was able to do all that. There's another one? Oh, I was about to say. Okay, okay. I was about to say, hold the fuck up. There's another one? I was about to freak out. Mecha Godzilla City. Oh man. Oh shit. They're gonna line up with all the Mecha Godzillas. Oh yes! Oh my god. They better clash at the end. Oh my god, they better clash. Woo! Let's go, let's get it! Come on, let's get it! Oh man, what a cliffhanger! I was really hoping to see them clash. Again? You need that fucking sleep, bro. Oh, she said he's doing Ghidorah. Oh! As always, Filmcore, another fantastic video. I really love that lineup at the end. Oh my god. I was high key hoping that they would just like run into each other and like start clashing and fighting. But either way, that was still fucking awesome. But yeah, guys, so going back to my point as to why I don't like the Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2, the reason is just because I just think just because the design for it was like just a little bit 
too robotic looking, I guess. I don't know, because compared to the one from 1974, I love that one a lot. But I think if anything, I think just mainly just because like the way that Mechagodzilla worked in the very first Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla movie, it was actually pretty cool and interesting. That actually really piqued my interest for Mechagodzilla right there. But once it came to Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla 2, I just think I didn't like that one just because it was just controlled by like the actual military. So I was like, eh, nah, I like the first one more. But Film Core Man, I'm telling you, man, when it comes to making these kind of videos, you really need that sleep. I don't know how you can do that making videos like these and, you know, having like little to no sleep at all. You need that sleep, man. Don't ever feel pressured for the fans that you have on your channel. Just take your sweet time so that way it comes out the way they want it to like come out. But other than that, Film Core, awesome video, like I said, I really loved it. And as for the rest of you guys out there that's watching me still, thank you guys for watching this video. Please smash that like button, comment, subscribe, turn on that bell. Please check out Film Core's video in the description below, and I'll see you guys the next time. Peace.